Should we get closer? No, I think this is as close as we're gonna get because right. I don't wanna. You're gonna take. You're gonna overpower me. <laughs> I'm dark, man. <laughs> hey guys, everybody May here back with another video. Today here I have my buddy Jake. How's it going? He's my sweet mate. Uh, I don't know if you've seen him in my past videos. I believe you have. He's been living next to me for about two months and you guys are just now me, you know. Yeah. So, as you guys may or may not know. Um, I'm a cyber systems operator. I work at the PACAF CSS. What is the AFSC that you have? The AFSC have? is 3 Delta 032. Okay. And uh, there's other cyber jobs that go along with that. There's like cyber surety, okay. iron systems. How long was your tech school? My tech school, it varies to be honest. Um, so it's originally supposed to be about supposed to be about three months long, but in my case, when I got there, there was a lack of instructors, and I got put on AFI, which means waiting for the instruction. So basically, we just had to like clean up the dorms and um, stuff like that. Yeah, like details. Yeah, like details and stuff like that. And then um, also we would have uh, time to study. Um, we could go to our uh, the place where we do our classes, and we could have time to study there too. So my tech school for me it took me about five months. Now does this include like your clearance too or did you is that a separate thing did you have like an interview like how does that process go with like so the clearance doesn't necessarily matter with tech school um if you have a top secret clearance it's about when you're at tech school you get you'll usually get an interview uh, by somebody and they'll kind of ask for references and stuff like that kind of like what you did at bnt but um it's a lot less it's like in depth it's not that in depth it's definitely a lot less stressful because at bnt they're just pounding you and yeah. be like dude we're gonna find out everything and stuff like that and it was face to face right yeah it's face to face because i know that sometimes uh some of some of the people that are doing the background checks actually do like phone calls uh like, yeah for, yeah yeah like mine was secret i have a secret clearance so mine isn't really like in depth like knowing all these references and stuff i basically just got a phone call and that was it for me but yeah when you have a top secret job like this guy yeah you gotta go through a lot of uh processing with stuff i guess how was your bmt experience we're gonna go not go in depth with it but how is it for you personally overall i would say like it was a good experience do you think it was hard like was it hard for you definitely i mean like me like i was like somewhat like physically fit when i got there mm -hmm. so like the physical part of it wasn't like that bad so pt wasn't bad no it was mostly like the like don't get me wrong like pt like yeah you're you're tired like after mm -hmm. pt and stuff like that but you know that's that's normal but i would say just like like the stress definitely got to me sometimes did it take you a while to get like adjusted and stuff yeah yeah for sure that <laughs> that first week I, I remember the first night I got there, like, like really you know, you you know, you're just getting yelled at, and you're just sitting there like, we got to bed at what, like, maybe like nine? Maybe? No, the first night. You talking about the first night? Yeah, the first. Oh, night. I got there at like three, three or two. We was waiting at the airport for hours. I, man, I didn't get no sleep. Oh, we have to wait at the airport for a long time. No, I didn't get no sleep, man. So I passed out about like we went to bed at like two. Uh -huh. Woke up at five, and honestly. <laughs> I slept like a baby. Oh no! Not then I woke either. up and I and I was like, "Oh, I'm here." Oh, <laughs> like no. it, it took a little bit. Did they like yell at you when you first like got up? Oh yeah. Get up, get up! They yell at you, basically going down, going down the aisles and stuff like that, the rows of beds. They're just like, "Get up, get up, get up!" and just screaming. Now, at you did you have like? Were you in the Disney? I was a, yeah, I was a Disney. Okay, so you know how it is then. I I wanted to I was hoping that you would be in like Alcatraz. No, f but <laughs> I was hoping you'd be theirs, but I don't know, like I don't know, like everybody says it's like I think they had it worse over there. What was yeah, your, they definitely did. What was your squadron? I was on the three thirty first. What's the three thirty first? Wolfpack. Wolfpack. I didn't see any Wolfpack in my squadron. No, I was Warthog. Oh god. I could not be a Mustang because uh, Mustang if you Mustangs yikes. at BMT, good luck. I, I, I can't do Mustangs. Mustangs are cocky. Who's your mascot again? What was it? Wolfpack, wolf homie. Wolf, duh. It's a wolf. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. That just shows how slow I can be. Where are you from? I'm from Oregon. I lived around, I mean, Salem's like the, probably one of the, Portland and Salem. You live like, by Salem? Yeah. Like Salem Witch Trial Salem? That's Massachusetts, my guy. Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, time to go back to school. <laughs> oh my god. No, nope, that's why I'm going back. I'm feeling dumber and dumber Jesus every time. Jesus, And it's getting captured on camera. <laughs> Well, that's the only Salem I know. I don't know any other Salem. I, I swear to God, I don't. I mean, I had AP as history, so I, I... it's been a while since I had history, and that was usually my top, my top like class. But <laughs> nah. Moving on. Um, um, I lived in a small town called uh, Jefferson. It's in between Albany and Salem, so commuting to Portland for maps was about an hour away. Why did you join the Air Force? I joined the Air Force. Um, well, so my senior year, I thought a lot about like what I wanted to do and stuff like that and I knew I didn't want to go to college like yeah there's an option for community college um, because in Oregon there's 
so yeah. I mean, your first two years of uh, community college for free. Okay. So I mean, I thought about doing that. First two years, you don't gotta pay out. Yeah, no tuition. What's a hobby that you really like? Uh, a hobby. I mean, I love to play tennis. You uh, play tennis? Yeah. Actually, what did I, I didn't even know. You really? know I played tennis in high school? Oh, I played tennis in high school. I played, I, tennis, I played tennis like twice. Yeah. I played tennis sometimes. You gotta get tennis rackets up. All right. <laughs> Having a top secret job is a bunch of stuff that he can and can't talk about. Whatever your job is, can you give like a brief description of what your job essentially is? Well, my job, I can't. Okay. What about... But overall, cyber systems operations, you're basically... It's more like keeping your computer systems, not necessarily the hardware part of it. It could include a lot of... It could be websites. It could be softwares. It could be stuff like that. It could... Do you it, know... It, uh, do you have to learn a lot about computers to like join or want to do this AFC. Okay, let me tell you this. For my job, when I went to tech school, about half the people there knew literally nothing about computers. So the main thing about my tech school, uh, if you're cyber systems operations, um, client systems, cyber surety, uh, radio frequency transmissions, any of those jobs that, um, oh, cyber transport also, um, you'll go to Keesler Air Force Base in Mississippi. For cyber systems operations and um, client systems, you have to pass, um, so you have to go through your normal pipeline course. Your first set of classes that you have to take is at, um, they just call it Dolan Hall because that's like, it's uh, your IT fundamentals class and it's two weeks long and it's it's super easy. Just like, like this is what a processor is, this is what RAM is, like just going through like the basics of computers. You need to build one too. I know. You can build computers. Can you actually build computers? I mean, I know how to build them. I've never built one, but I know how Dang, to build them. I was hoping you did because once I get my money, man, I'm building mine. <laughs> go ahead. After your Dolan Hall classes, you go to uh, Thompson Hall, which is like your pipeline course. And then from there, like client systems and cyber systems get split up along with a uh, cyber surety. And aren't they and, uh, called like, like shreds? Is that what shreds are? When you're at BMT and you're picking your jobs uh -huh. and like they're saying that this is a shred of this job, like I think it's like a sub, like kind of- Oh, like a subcategory? Yeah, like do y'all have shreds uh, in y'all like the job? I would say like the shreds are what you do for your job. Yeah. So cyber systems operations is up here and then all factors of the job for okay. underlying that. All right, yeah. Oh, this is a question everybody wanna know. What was your ASVAB score for you to get this job? And this was was this the job that you picked and wanted? Uh, this is actually the job I wanted. Okay, that's lucky, a lot of people don't I know, get their I know, job. I, know, I got lucky. Um, but my ASVAB score was I got an eighty. <laughs> what did you get? It's it. It's it. I got a forty-seven. I don't forty-seven. Bro, what? Yikes. I really got my job. I got everything I wanted though. At the end of the day, I did not care. I don't know. I changed my mind on it. Like I really did. Mm -hmm. want to do that can you tell like how long your shifts are or you have long shifts or you can't really oh say? no my so my shifts like decent hours honestly so it's pretty consistent yeah yeah it's yeah it's really consistent my uh my schedule really doesn't vary i don't know like i was feeling sick one day i just called my supervisor i was like hey like i'm not feeling too good he's like all right you know to stay home like they're really like they're really like leaning about that you know like they're they're understanding do you like this first duty station like do you like it here oh i love it here i mean just like looking outside you can see it we got like a balcony i like our our dorms honestly because yeah. we got like a balcony we got like a good view I saw a plane fly by like honestly i thought it was a drone the other day i saw <laughs> what <laughs> That's a big ass drone. No, man, listen. It was when I was live streaming. Jeez, and it was listen. like two days ago. I was like, is that a drone? It was so far away and it looked weird shape. You know how those drones look really weird? Yeah. Like the front of it. I was like, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's the other countries. <laughs> They're watching. <laughs> They're watching. Government <laughs> shut down now. Damn. No, I'm just kidding. Going, going, going back to the, to the schooling. Um, after you're finished with uh, Thompson Hall, um, basically like when you get there, you hear just horror stories about, uh, it's a uh, SEC plus. So it stands for security plus, and it's a, uh, it's a CompTIA certificate. Um, CompTIA is, uh, they're an organization, a uh, civilian organization, and they, you take tests and uh, you give, and uh, they give out these certificates for um, different aspects of jobs involving computers. So security plus obviously involves um, cyber security. Um, it also involves a lot of uh, physical security, like like different types of locks, like how high fences should be and stuff like that. Like it's, it's just security overall. If I had to give like a tip on my tech school was the pipeline courses are easy, like, like easy as can be compared to sec plus. So as long as like you look <clears throat> like obviously, yeah, you need to study, but sec plus it's, it is like mandatory. That Two you more study. questions. Do you think the studying for your tech school was really hard? For Sec Plus, yeah. 
I put in a, I mean, me personally, other people don't study and they pass. Like, I don't, I don't know how they do it. But me personally, I put in at least 100 hours of study. I failed my block test last week. My final question, would you want to do a different job? Is this something that you like doing? Honestly, like, if I were to go to school, if I didn't join the military, I'd want to do cybersecurity. Okay. So, I mean, I, like, I've always loved working with computers. I'm a f nerd. So, I mean, so, I mean, it's it's just like... Doing... So you're pretty happy about it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Right. But if I choose another job... Sec phone. F <laughs> no. Security No. Crew chief. No. <laughs> Firefighter art isn't no. that bad. F all those. No, 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 no. <laughs> if, if I was an officer, fighter did pilot, dude. All right, all right. All right, that's that's all the questions I have right now. Uh, if you guys like this video and you got like my guy Jake over here, give a like down below. Yeah. Subscribe, babe. Subscribe, subscribe, babe. Every time, subscribe if you can. I need to ask you for an interview because I'm running out of stuff. Subscribe if you do uh, want to see more videos. I make videos every single week. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Comment down below if you like to see more videos of Jake or if you like the video or have any more questions. I appreciate it. I will see you guys later. MMA is out of here. Peace.